Hey everybody, today I wanted to show you how you can take your Mac, whether it's a Mac Mini, an iMac, a MacBook Pro, and you can boot that to a different device. Maybe you need to boot to an installer. I just happen to have a few over here I was going to show you. And you can boot to that, or maybe you happen to have a drive from another computer that you want to boot from. So, I'm going to show you exactly how you would do that and what steps you would need to take in order to boot to those devices. So, the very first thing you want to do is on your Mac, you want to go up and you want to click on the Apple and you want to click Shut Down and then you also want to click Shut Down again. Now, after you do this, it's going to shut the computer down completely and then we're going to pick right back up and I'm going to show you what steps you have to take in order to go ahead and boot to one of those other devices. Okay, so now that the computer is completely off, what you're gonna do is on your Mac, you're gonna press the power button and hold the option key. Now, if you have one of the newer Macs, you're gonna press the button and continue to hold that button and it'll give you a list of options that you can boot from. But on mine, I'm going to press the power button and then immediately hold down the option key and it's going to give me the options window where I can boot to either the internal drive, the recovery drive, or an external drive. So let me show you what it looks like if I was to plug in one of these externals. If you plug it in, it'll give you that option to boot to Mac OS Catalina and that's the installer. If I unplug this one and I plug in another one, this happens to be another installer and this one is for High Sierra. So if you wanted to boot to that, you would just go over here and click on it one time and then you would click this little arrow and it would immediately go ahead and boot in to that installer so that you could install it. Now I also happen to have a solid state drive that came out of another computer and I have it connected with this SATA to USB connector. They have it for USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. And you can connect this directly to that SSD. And then I can plug it into the computer. And you can boot to that drive if you wanted to. In just a second, that drive will pop up. And I can either choose the Mountain Line SSD or I can pull up the recovery. Now, I'm not going to boot to it, of course. But you could if you wanted to. Okay, so you may be wondering, okay, well, what do I do if I don't have a USB-A connector for my computer? I only have USB-C. Well, that's not a problem at all. All we need to do is we just need to get a connector that'll go from USB-A to USB-C so that you can plug it into your USB-C computer. Now, I've included a picture of one right here. And I've also included a link down below in the description so that you can order it directly from Amazon. And it'll work perfectly with your newer Mac, whether it's a Mac Mini, iMac, MacBook Pro, whatever it is that only has USB-C. It'll make it where you can plug your USB-A devices into your computer. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you and want to thank you for watching this video on how you can either boot to a flash drive or another hard drive or solid state drive out of another computer and you can boot it off of your Mac Mini, iMac, MacBook Pro, any of your Macs. So if you have any questions, please leave it down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. And as always, if you can, because you do such a great job, please like and subscribe so I can keep putting up all these videos for you all. Thanks again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.